There is very little in life, if anything, more important than our relationships. How connected we feel to others is a strong predictor of our happiness and our feelings of self-worth. From a neurobiological standpoint, we are wired for a connection. Our deeply connected relationships can ultimately give us true meaning and purpose. But why does it seem so easy for some to create deep connections while it's hard for others? Although now I'm able to have healthy, deep connections with others, it wasn't always the case. I used to be ashamed of being myself because I didn't feel that I was good enough. It took a long time, many years in fact, for me to work through my feelings of inadequacy and lack of self-worth. Through that, here are the things I learned about connecting with people in a deep and meaningful way. For starters, be authentic. It took a considerable amount of courage but I learned to tell everyone who I really was, what I felt and what I thought at all times. I started telling others all about what I have been through, about my failures, my trauma and what I have learned. Some people ended up rejecting me and friendships couldn't be formed as a result of sharing myself so openly. But the relationships I did form through this were much more fulfilling. The key takeaway is be imperfect. Your imperfections are what make you beautiful and interesting. To show yourself compassion. Previously, I felt insecure because I didn't think I was funny and I hated my facial expressions. But I had to stop believing that certain parts of me were unworthy of being. I had to truly believe that I was worthy of love and belonging. I allowed myself to make mistakes. I allowed myself to take care of my own needs. I started treating myself how I believed everyone should be treated. To be truly compassionate towards others, you must first learn to show yourself compassion. 3. Embrace vulnerability. I cultivated an awareness of my fear of vulnerability, including when I would run away from it and instead forced myself to face my fears. I invested in relationships even though there were no guarantees. I opened up about my pain. I opened up myself to the possibility of rejection and thus became truly vulnerable. Though this wasn't easy, but the willingness to be completely vulnerable is necessary to feel worthy. If you're not vulnerable and you never put your true self out there, you will never know that you are worthy of deep connections. For don't numb emotions. I've learned the hard way and there is lots of psychology research to back this up that we cannot selectively numb emotions. You can't say, I don't want to feel anger or jealousy or vulnerability. Let's leave those out and I'll just take a dose of happiness instead. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. If you try to numb the negative emotions, you'll end up numbing everything. If you numb everything, you no longer feel happiness, joy or love. Our willingness and ability to be vulnerable, to put ourselves in a state of emotional risk, exposure and uncertainty is our most accurate measurement of courage. It is absolutely not weak to expose yourself. If we want to connect with people, we absolutely have to get over the idea that being vulnerable is synonymous with being weak. This also ties back to compassion. We must be compassionate to those who show us vulnerability. Do not judge them or make them feel weak for having done so. Similarly, don't judge yourself or feel weak for being vulnerable. Instead, be proud of yourself for being your true, beautiful self.